You can celebrate Mother's Day, Spring Gardens, and the love of music with a unique fundraiser that kicks off today. The Victoria Conservatory of Music's annual garden tour is going virtual this year. And as Tess Van Stratton shows us, it's an exclusive look at some of Greater Victoria's most inspiring private gardens. For Brian Emery, who's been growing and cultivating flowers for 26 years, gardening is truly a labor of love. I've always had a bit of a passion for plants. I, I love interesting and unique plants. Looking at it now, it's hard to believe there was no garden here at all when Brian moved into his Sanichome 11 years ago. He's spent the last decade filling it with plants, thousands of plants, and now has close to 10,000 specimens. If you start hoarding plants, you have to do something pretty with them. <laughs> There are many rare and unusual plants. Lithops, those are called living stones. Oh, so interesting. Most are from the southern hemisphere, including what's growing in this greenhouse. Oh, wow. It's home to one of the largest orchid collections on Vancouver Island. I try not to count because then people start to judge, but probably over a thousand. Oh my gosh, yeah. over a thousand. <laughs> but small ones, so they all fit. <laughs> teeny tiny ones. These are quite unusual and quite difficult to grow. And brightly colored ones. It's named Ignea Igneous for fire. Show me what's down here. Brian's garden is one of eight hidden gems on the Victoria Conservatory of Music Mother's Day Musical Garden Tour, which is virtual this year due to COVID. Just like you would experience them in person, these are the same types of tours. You get to meet the homeowners and they take you on a guided tour of their backyards. Students' music will play in the background and you can also make an online tribute to your mom or someone special. And thanks to some generous donors, all donations made between now and May 16th will be matched, up to $20,000 for this important fundraiser. And it's critical for us to stay open. We have seen a dip and ensuring that we have this funding to keep the conservatory going, it's, it's key to keeping us afloat. For Brian, the chance to share his eclectic and unique space is a great way to give back. When someone comes to you and says, by doing that thing you love doing, you can help people. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> they just hope next year's 40th annual garden tour can be in person. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.